ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday morning, the last day of January, the 31st. In a rapidly changing weather situation today, let's go to some Skycam images early this morning at the insane hour of 5 o'clock. That's the view coming from Huntsville. Off in the distance, you can see that big Saturn V rocket at the Space and Rocket Center. That camera near the intersection of the parkway and uh, Interstate 565. Birmingham's camera looking over the UAB complex, looking south at the top of the Daniel Building. Readings are in the uh, mid-30s in most spots. And from Gadsden... Down below the lights of the city, I note the sky can there showing 31 degrees, and obviously you're not going to have severe weather with 31-degree type air. And the question is, can we modify that air mass enough for any severe weather tonight? And I think the answer is no. There's our water vapor satellite imagery. Very dynamic storm blowing out of the Rockies, digging down into Texas, the panhandle there. Ahead of that, a little Vortmax around Vicksburg. Uh, producing a little light uh, precipitation there on the radar, but most of that not reaching the ground. Dew points are still down there in the teens. And that's kind of messy up there around Memphis. Now, once you get north of Memphis, you've got uh, sufficiently cold air for some freezing rain, sleet, even some snow up there over parts of northwestern Tennessee and western Kentucky. But again, I think it's going to be a while before that stuff can reach the ground here. Uh, there's a look at the temperatures. You can see Memphis sitting at 33, so they're just uh, wet. But again, just north of there, there's some issues with uh, snow and icing up toward the uh, Missouri boot heel. Now, uh, with our main system, there's a look at your winter weather problems. I know there's an advisory there for North Mississippi, but they're fine. They're not going to have any issues. Uh, they're above freezing. Uh, the big problems will really be from about... Uh, uh, Tulsa to Indianapolis and Detroit. That's going to be some heavy snow up in through there. Uh, in fact, uh, there's a look at the heavy snow forecast for today. This is uh, where folks will get at least four inches. And the bullseye places like St. Louis, just a couple of days ago, they what had uh, 70 degrees, I think, or at least 60, 68 or something. They're going to be buried with snow. Uh, Indianapolis, Detroit, Tulsa. Uh, northern Arkansas, the Ozarks there, Springfield, Missouri, and also a little ice ahead of that today, and that could be kind of nasty, and even tonight, maybe some icing down into parts of uh, western Virginia and western North Carolina, but of course, the uh, story for us is uh, rain, and we'll take that. Yep, that looks good. Uh, rainfall amounts of around one inch, I think. That's a, a safe forecast for tonight. And in terms of the severe weather risk, this is the uh, risk as defined by the Storm Prediction Center for this afternoon and tonight, a slight risk over uh, Alabama, generally south of U.S. 80. And I, I still think the better severe weather threat will be closer to the coast, uh, maybe south of Interstate 10. Uh, but they've got that thing pulled a little farther north. In respect of the dynamics of this system, extremely strong dynamics with lift and shear and all of that, the wind fields, but with no surface-based instability, we just don't expect any surface-based storms with this. Uh, this is where we are at noon today, coming off the 06Z run of the GFS. There's a big trough. We're going out to midnight tonight. Thing goes negative tilt. That would just be screaming tornado outbreak if this were warmer, but it's not. At the surface, the uh, surface low tonight is north of Memphis. The uh, main band coming through here uh, late tonight. And again, this is suggesting rain of about one inch. Some spots may be getting more. It will be breezy, not as windy as the event we had Tuesday night. And then tomorrow, the thing lifts on out. Uh, we'll clear slowly. Uh, it'll be a cooler day, but no, nothing extremely cold. Highs in the, uh, probably sit in the 40s all day. And then Saturday, we'll start off around freezing or maybe upper 20s, but warm up nicely. We should be close to 60 Saturday afternoon, a sunny day. But the weather won't sit still. Look at Sunday. Wow. The GFS really pushing moisture back up into the uh, northern third of Alabama, so uh, we have inserted the chance of a shower Sunday afternoon. Will it be a washout? No, but certainly uh, I think we had better mention that and really need to mention that. And then Monday, here comes the next one. Big trough off to the west at the surface. Good southerly flow here. Uh, I'd suggest a chance of showers, maybe some thunder, depending on where a warm front will be located there. And then Tuesday, the trough gets closer, and at the surface... One big low in Canada, a secondary low developing around Greenville, Mississippi, and 
uh, cross at Arkansas, and that might be a setup for severe weather as that secondary low develops down there. And there will be very good instability, I think, at that point. So Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday night, we'll be on the lookout for a strong to severe storms. And then Wednesday, that's out of here. Now, uh, the weather stays active in the future. Just a couple of more days out there at the end of next week. Look at that thing. That's the 8th. How about a winter storm threat, huh? Uh, now, this is voodoo, of course. Uh, we're just saying it's out there. And then on the 11th, here comes another one. Trough rotating through here. That would suggest a chance of snow for the northern half of the state. Snow lovers, two chances there. But remember, this is model output, and this is out there beyond seven days where there's not much skill in anything specific. The end of the cycle on the 15th, trough over the east, cold front coming through, but a whole lot of systems to deal with before we even think about that. That's it for the Morning Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The uh, next video here by 3.30 this afternoon. Of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. Storm Alert 2008 begins tonight. We'll be at Oak Grove High School at 7. And uh, we'll try and crank out an afternoon discussion. We might not be able to do that because of the travel schedule. But if not, we'll have one by tomorrow morning at 7. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.